What's going on YouTube? My name is Genius, bringing you guys more ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword. Before this video starts, if you find yourself enjoying the content at any time, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button, clicking that big red subscribe button, and letting me know in the comment section down below. So guys, in today's video, we are rocking out with this rain team right here. We got Pelipper, who is focused sash. She is awesome, dude. He can set the rain with his drizzle ability. He's rocking Hurricane Scald, Tailwind, the boost of speed of all allied Pokemon, and Protect. Then we got our Life Orb Barrascuta with Swift Swim, which doubles his speed in the rain. He is such a beast, especially with that Life Orb. He can do some work. He has Poison Jab, Close Combat, Protect, and Liquidation. Once you get this guy in the rain, whoo! basically game it's basically game this guy can set up and do some work then we got toga the maru right here who is our electric pokemon on the team rocking air balloon nuzzle zing zap fake out and helping hand then we got another swift swim pokemon which is ludico he is the special attacker and barrascuta is the physical attacker so depending on what pokemon they're running can decide on what rain pokemon you're gonna run with but he is also rocking swift swim to double his speed and an assault vest to circle up some special attack hits he's running ice beam money water fake out and energy ball then we got my boy Pharaoh Thorn, who is actually Choice Bandit right here. That's why it's not rocking Leech Seed. It's actually rocking Gyro Ball, Power Whip, Iron Head, and Knock Off to do some work with all those physical attacking moves. Finally, in the last spot, we got Gardevoir, who kind of like meshes this team together right here. It's rocking a Choice Scarf with Thunderbolt, Psy Shock, Dazzling Gleam, and Moon Blast. It can kind of like give you separation from that rain team. Say if they have something to counter you, you can kind of go into your Toga Tomorrow with your Gardevoir right here and actually do some work. But guys, if you would like to use this team for yourselves, make sure you use that rental code at the bottom on the screen. It's all yours. You guys can use it up. I did not make this team, but I will leave a link to where I got the team. And also, guys, let me know for question of the day, what are your new favorite Gen 8 Pokemon? On. For me, I like Dragapult. Barrascuda is one of them. I fell in love with them from day one. And Graplock. I really do like Graplock. But without further ado, let's get on with this video. Here we go. Hopping into our first match. This guy is rocking a Duraludon, Togedemaru, Gastrodon, Konomo, Corbinite, and a Gengar. With all that said, this guy is very special attacking. We're going to lead with our Ludicolo and our Gardevoir in our front two spots. And I'm going to be bringing my Pelipper and my Barrascuda in the back. Considering this guy is very... He's big into the... Special attack, our Ludicolo is wearing that Assault Vest. It took up a little bit more special attack than normal, but we're going to rock out with all these rain Pokemon. But guys, if you'd like to catch more content from me, make sure you go in the link in the description below. Link to my Twitch page is down there. Genes25 on Twitch. We actually found our first shiny for Sword and Shield, which was Wulu after 588 encounters with him. Jeez, it took a while, but it was so hype. If you guys want to see the reaction all that, link is in the description below. There's a clip there. But this guy does rock out with the Gastron. That's who I thought he was going to rock out with in the first spot. Um, do we go for the Protect, or do we go straight into, like, the Energy Ball or something? What do we do? What do we do here? Hmm. We could fake out the Toga tomorrow and just start teeing off on that thing. Yeah, let's fake out the Toga tomorrow And then go into a... Do we go into a Moon Blast on it? Hmm, no, it's not very effective. Shy Shock? Not very... Wow. Wow, this thing actually just eats up our stuff. But we can go for the Fake Out, and we're just gonna go for the Dazzling Gleam here. I think that's the play call. I think we just go for the Dazzling Gleam. Do work on both these Pokemon right here. Because Togedemaru will not get a hit off. And then we can actually just take out the... Uh, oh, Togedemaru goes for the Fake Out. You want good junk. We're going to go for the Fake Out. Oh, <laughs> we go with a double Fake Out here, dude. That Togedemaru eats up a lot. But we do pop his Air Balloon. And we flinch. Cannot move. Blizzard comes out. Ooh. And which one avoid the attack? Who avoided it? The Ludicolo does avoid the attack, which is fine. Which is fine. We're going to go straight for the Energy Ball now. Then we're just going to roll out into a Dazzling Gleam just in case that Gastrodon does survive this. This Dazzling Gleam will come out here and finish off that Gastrodon and do a little bit more work to that Toga tomorrow. But here we go. Dazzling Gleam coming out. You do some nice damage to him. And now this Energy Ball. Oh, we get the critical hit. That's why it did so much damage. But the Iron Head's going to pop out here on my Gardevoir. And she does go down, which is fine. Not a big deal. We should be able to take out this Gastrodon here. And then I think we're just going to roll out into the what's it called? I think we're going to roll out into the uh, the Pelipper and get the Rain Roll and try to get this Togedemaru out of here. Then we're going to try to get this Togedemaru out of here. Considering we are Focus Sash, he's going to go after my Pelipper. We'll eat up a shot and we're just going to double up on this Togedemaru here. Let's get rolling out here. Let's get rolling out here. We need this Togedemaru out of here because this thing will just eat up my team. Like I knew he was bringing it in here, but I felt like we can counteract it with the speed that we have with this. But Gengar is going to pop out here. I can see this thing rocking an electric move. I'm scared. I'm getting a little scared here. Do we Dynamax or do we save it for a Barrier Scooter? I say we save it for our Barrier Scooter here. But well, we're going to rock out here with a Muddy Water. We're going to go with a Muddy Water here. And then we're just going to go straight into a Scald. Straight into a Scald here. I can see him Dynamaxing that Gengar. I, I'm seeing him Dynamaxing that Gengar. 
Hundred percent. Hundred percent that the Animax is coming out for that Gengar. I just have a feeling. I just got that feeling. Even though I maybe should counter my uh oh no, he does not. He goes for the sludge bomb. That's gonna do some work on me anyway. Eat it, buddy. Eat it. That assault vest comes up clutch. But how is that thing outspeeding us? That's my question. How is that thing outspeeding us? We are swift swim. Let's go. Let's do some damage. See you later, Toga tomorrow. And Gengar's gonna go down here to the hurricane, right? Or to the skull. One of them, but yo, dude, let's go. Big damage. Big damage here from the rain team. That is how you do it. That is how you do it. We just use a double move and almost just swept his team with that double move. But the poison's gonna come out here. What is it? 2v1 two, two now? 2v1, basically. Well, 3v1. We have our bear scooter in the back end. That is game he is life for. But this guy is gonna hit the bounce boogie and skididdle and get out of here. He's gonna get out of here. Maybe we get one more shot here on this guy. We're gonna go into the ice beam on him. Do some work, dude, but that rain boosts the damage so much on him. Oh my god, dude, this guy's done for. This guy's done for. Battle was canceled. Like I said, dude, rain team dominates, dude. I love rain teams, and we didn't even get to show off our strongest Pokemon, the Barrascooter. Battle number two coming at you guys. This guy's rocking a Dragapult Extra Drill, Togekiss Gyarados, Rotom Watch, and Snorlax team. We actually rocked this team out before in i think two videos ago i think two videos ago we did rock out this team so i kind of do know all of its moveset it is rocking we want to bring in that gardevoir for that togekiss because that togekiss can be a pain it can be a pain here we might actually rock out into our barrascuda and our pelper in the front two spots because i don't really see him countering us too too hard here i don't see him countering us too hard here with that rain he doesn't really have a lot of a lot i don't think he has any electric on his team does he Except for that Rotom, but we should outspeed and be able to do some work on it. So let's do that. Let's go into our... Let's go into Pelipper and Ludicolo. Let's go Pelipper, Ludicolo, in case he leaves that Rotom. Because then we can just Energy Ball it. Say Night Night to it. And then we're going to bring Gardevoir and Barrascuda in the back end. Right? Or do we go not Bar... Hmm. It's a tough call. Or we can go Togedemaru. We can go Togedemaru in the back end. And then do we go Ferrothorn? Because Ferrothorn can counteract the... What's it called? Or no, are we going all rain? I think we're going all rain. I think we can go all rain here and then roll in with that token tomorrow. All right, I think that's a good call. I think we are sitting pretty with this team right here. Because we got that token tomorrow in case that Gyarados pops in here. And the same thing with that token kiss. I think we're chilling. I think. Oh no! Oh no, we ran out of time! It's gonna pick a random team for us. It's gonna pick a random team. That is so bogus. Like, I had my fourth pick, I just didn't hit done. I gotta pay attention to the time more, but let's see. Let's just see. Who we actually rock out with. Hopefully it gives us those four. That would be nice. It's probably going to give us like the total opposite of that. But we'll see in a second. He's going to throw out the Dragon Pole and the Extra Drill. Who do we throw out? Come on, show me Pelper and someone else. The rain team. Okay, it does throw out these guys. It does throw out these guys. Who else did it give us? This is who we want to lead regardless. But the Swift Swim is going to pop out here. And we're going to go straight for that uh, Extra Drill. We're going to go straight for that Extra Drill here. But let me see who it brought us. Did it bring our Toga tomorrow? No, it did not bring our Toga tomorrow, but it did bring our Barrascuda. But I'm I'm fine with that, uh, with that Ferrothorn. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to roll into a Scald here. Or do we roll into a Tailwind? Because I know the Rockfall is coming. I do know the Rockfall is coming. I'm going to roll into a Tailwind here. Start boosting our speed here. And then we're just going to roll in straight into a Muddy Water. Because I feel like we will do a lot of damage here. Especially in the rain, I feel like if this extra drill is not Focus Ash, which it could be, which it could be Focus Ash, I think we're going to take it out if it's not. Especially in the rain, because this can do some work. This can do some work. But I can see him Dynamaxing. I can see him Dynamaxing something. He's going to withdraw his extra drill, which is fine by me. Who's going to pop out here for him? Gyarados? Nope, Togekiss does, but that's actually nice. We will get some damage off on that Togekiss, which is beautiful. Jack's... It's actually beautiful. Look at that. Get some nice damage off here on that Togekiss. That's fine by me. And a Tailwind's going to pop out here and help us out here. What is this Dragon Pulse going to go into? A T-Wave. We know exactly what moves this thing is rocking. We do know exactly what this thing is rocking. Luckily, he... Why would he T-Wave that? That isn't even a hard hitter. That isn't even our hard hitter. Our hard hitter is our Ludicolo here. Our boy right here. Then we're just going to go into a Scald on you. And do we go into an Ice Beam here or another Muddy Water? We're going to go into an Ice Beam right on you. Because that thing is Focus Ash and it only has Draco Meteor. So, it's probably going to go into a Reflect, but we are special. We are special attack with our Looty Call right here. Do some nice damage here. And the Skull is going to pop off here and probably take out that, what's it called? That Togekiss. Hopefully we do outspeed with the Tailwind. Do we? Show us that we outspeed this thing with our Tailwind. Thunder Wave's going to come out here. Paralyze. 
our Ludicolo, which is smart. Dude. This guy's just going off with the Paralyzes here with the T-Wave, which is fine. We do get our Scald off, and this should take out the Togekiss here with the Rain. Beautiful. Get that Togekiss out the way. Considering that Togekiss is an absolute unit. That is like the heart of the team. So we get that out the way, which is awesome. Which is just awesome. And we're still rocking our Barra Scooter in the back end. In the back end, we still have our Barra Scooter. And we have our Tailwind just to outspeed a lot of this. Now we're just going to start teeing off on these Pokemon here. Uh, we're going to go into a Hurricane right on this Dragapult. We're going to double up on this Dragapult with this Ice Beam and this Hurricane. Because if the Ice Beam doesn't take it out... Then the well, if the ice beam doesn't take it out, the hurricane will take it out. But if the ice beam does, then the hurricane just rocks out onto the Snorlax. So we're chilling right now. We're just thriving in the rain. He's gonna Dynamax his Snorlax, which is fine by me. Is it his Snorlax? I can see him Dynamaxing his Snorlax. I hope he Dynamaxes his Dragapult. Show it to me. Nope, Snorlax does come out here. That's fine. We still have our Barra Scooter. We still have our Barra Scooter and our Togedemaru, man. And our Togedemaru is rocking out here. He still has that extra drill, but I'm not too worried about that extra drill. Considering we have that Swift Swim Barra Scooter. Let's go. Ice Beam is going to pop out here. Yeet. Do some work on him. Take him out. Take him out. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Domination in the rain. Absolute domination in the rain right here. And now this Hurricane is going to pop off here. Can we get the Confusion? Can we get the Confusion? Give me the little birdies. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. You're confused. Hurt yourself in Confusion. Waste your turn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, wee. Oh, wee. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I feel like... Karma is going to get us here because we got that Paralyze. Oh, we got that uh, Confusion. I feel like the Paralyze is going to come off hard on us here. I feel like the Paralyze is going to come off hard on us here. We are just chilling. We are just chilling right now. I'm going to go into the... I'm going to go into the Scald here. And I'm going to just go into the Muddy Water to double hit. I'm going to go into the Muddy Water to double hit here. Let's go. Could you imagine if we get the burn on this Snorlax? Like, say this Muddy Water takes out this extra drill. But I see it being Focus Ash here. Let's see. Who avoided that? Which one avoided that? Oh my god, the extra drill avoided it. Get out my face, dude. Get out my face that that extra drill avoided that. Eat that up. Oh, he doesn't eat that up. That thing did some... Oh, it's a one-hit KO move. That lucky biscuit. That lucky biscuit. Let's go. Skull's gonna pop out here. Let's go. Do some work on him. Take him out. Does not take him out, but we do some work. I think the Tailwind's gonna be out of here. He's gonna snap out of Confusion. Go for a max strike. Razor speed? Is that Razor speed? What does that raise? Eat it up. All right, beautiful. We eat that up. Hopefully that Tailwind is still chilling here. That would be nice. Tailwind does peter out. Dang it, man. Dang it. But our Barra Scooter is going to come in here. Or do we go here? Or do we go here? I want to go for our Life Orb. I really do want to go for our Life Orb, but... Yeah, let's go for it. Considering we do have the rain, we're going to go straight into a Max Geyser onto that uh, Snorlax. And we're going to have our... What's it called? Take that out. We're going to have our... Our dude right here. Our Pelipper. Take out that extra drill here. And we're going to go right into a Max Geyser. Do we go into a Max Knuckle or do we go into a Max Geyser? We're going to go into a Max Geyser. Considering we have that rain, I feel like it will do more damage than that Max Knuckle will. But we should get first moving priorities here. Get some work done. Dude, I just have an odd feeling that this extra drill is going to hit me with another Horn Drill and get a lucky accuracy hit. I, 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 I don't know. I just have this weird feeling. Because our token Amaru cannot do too much work. It cannot do anything against that. What's it called? That extra drill. Considering it's electric. But we have him in the back end just in case. Maybe we can struggle out and maybe win. We'll see what happens. Who's going to go first? Our Bash Scooter, of course, goes first with that Swift Swim. Going to do some work. Maybe we should have just took out the extra drill. That could have been a smart play. But we do some work. That's what I wanted to do. I knew we could do some work here. Our Life Orb does pop off here. He's going to eat his berry. That hunk of junk. That hunk of junk does eat his berry. Should recover a decent amount of health here. Ooh. We should be able to possibly uh, get him in one hit. Okay, Horn Drill is unaffected there. Max Strike's gonna pop out here. Go ahead, go after my Barra Scooter. No, Pelper's gonna die out here. Eat it, Pelper. Okay, this is scary. This is very scary. This is very, very scary here. Okay, okay. Are we gonna roll out here? The rain does stop. We're gonna go for that extra drill. We gotta get that extra drill out the way here. We have to get that extra drill. Oh no, we don't have our token tomorrow. That's who I wanted to pick. But we do have to get that extra drill out the way. So I think what this would be the smart play. I think the smart play would be just setting the rain and getting that bar uh, getting that extra drill out the way and going first. Let's go into a. Do we go into a? Hmm. We're gonna go into an Iron Head right on the Snorlax, potentially make it flinch, and we're gonna set the rain once again and try to take out this extra drill. Hopefully we do outspeed that extra drill. Horn drill comes out. Oh, we avoided it. Okay, okay. See, I thought he was going to hit another one, but that is going to be the game. That will be the game. We'll set the rain up once again and say night-night to his Excadrill. And now that Snorlax 
No way he's taking out my Barrett Scooter and my Ferrothorn right here. My Ferrothorn's an absolute tank, and this thing's probably rocking moves that only are not very effective to it. Which is awesome, which is awesome. We are chilling. We are chilling here. That was the only thing I was scared of. That extra drill coming in, and what's it called? That extra drill coming in and just hitting us with a bunch of one-hit KOs. But this Storax does recycle. Trying to keep in the fight. Which I'll give him props. I'll give him props. But we got this rain rolling. It's kind of it's kind of game over for you. Iron Hand's going to pop out here. Do some work on you. What, are you going to recycle again, huh? What, are you going to recycle again? We're going to come in with that Max Geyser and say night-night to you. That is the game. Yeah, but I was totally scared of the what's it called. That extra drill coming in and hitting us with, like, multiple horn drills. But luckily, he did miss. Like, accuracy actually did work. Because sometimes people get lucky and just hit, like, three one-hit KOs in a match. You're like, what do you mean? <laughs> but there we go. Take him out with that Max Geyser and that rain. And that is how it's done. Playing it out perfectly. I would have rather had my Toga Damaru in that front spot instead of that uh, Ferrothorn. But that worked out. That worked out fine for us. Hopping into the third and final battle for this video. This guy is rocking a Whimsicott. The round on Shannon Lower Togekiss. Darmanitan and that Grimstone and that Grimstone. I think we're gonna rock out with our uh, our Pelipper in the front spot once again, considering this rain team thrives with him in the front spot. And and he's rolling that Whimsicott. We can do Hurricane and do some work with it. Potentially one shot if that thing is a Focus Ash. Then we go into our Barrier Scooter, rocking with that thing because it does work against that Duraludon, uh, that Darmanitan. We can potentially do some work against that Tokus and that Sharon and the Lore. And then who else are we gonna rock out with? Do we roll out with Toga Tomaru here? I feel like Toga Tomaru can do some work here. So let's go Toga Tomaru with that Air Balloon. And then who's gonna who's gonna roll out in the last spot? I think we're just gonna go Ludicolo here. Do we go Ludicolo? Yeah, he is a very uh, special attack here, but except for his Darmanitan, but I think we can be fine here. I think we will be fine. Let's go into our Pelipper, Barra Scuda, and then we roll out into our who did I say? Token Amaru. and then let's go into our Ludicolo. Is Ludicolo the right play call, or do we go into somebody who can hit a little bit harder with the uh, Choice Band or Choice Scarf? We might go into our Ferrothorn. Now, let's go into our Ludicolo here. Let's go into our Ludicolo. He can do some work and actually start this match. Let's go. Let's go, dude. I'm ready to play with this. We actually got Token tomorrow in here. Little mouse Pokemon. Little, little, little mice over here. He's chill. He's a very cool Pokemon. I love him. I love him. I love Token tomorrow. He's a lot of fun. He's a lot of fun. Let's roll out here. See how we do. Let's see how we do. He's going to start off. With a Chandelure and that Whimsicott, that's fine by me. We're going to roll into a Liquidation over to that left side. And we're going to roll out into a Tailwind right here. We're going to go straight into a Tailwind here. Drizzle is going to pop out here. We will be the fastest on the court. We're going to roll out into a Tailwind. Get started. Boost our speed even more than it was. Unless this thing's rocking Trick Room. So Tailwind's going to come out here. And then we're going to roll into a nice little Liquidation over on that Chandelure. I can see this thing potentially running a Trick Room team. That's what I think it's going to do. So we maybe, we should have went into the Hurricane, I think. I think we should have went into the Hurricane with that Whimsicott. Because if he's rocking Chandler and Whimsicott, both those Pokemon can rock Trick Room. But, oh, Sunny Day is going to come out here. Sunny Day is going to come out here. Hopefully, we can take out the Chandler in one shot. He's going to take out the Rain. We're going to take out the Rain. You hunk of junk. Solar Beam is going to come out here. Oh, Absorbing Light. He's absorbing the light. Come on, get him. Rock out. We got to take him out here. Solar Beam is going to come out here on my, what's it called? My Barrier Scooter. Wow, dude. What a play. What a play. Wow. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? How you out- I just don't get how you're outspeeding us right there. That's my question. How you outspeeding us right there? Okay, Tailwind's gonna blow from behind us. We're gonna roll out into our Barrascuda. I mean, our Ludicolo here. We gotta get this Rain Rocket again. We have to get this Rain Rocket again. Get this, uh... Get this Drought out of here. We gotta get this Drought out of here. So we're gonna go into a Hurricane here. Then we're just gonna go straight into a Dynamax and go into a Max Geyser onto that Chandelure here. But wow, that thing just did some work on us. That was a sick little play there, but I just don't get how he outsped us from the beginning. From the beginning. He stopped the rain. He was faster than my Swift Swim Barrier Scooter. Like, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Unless he has, like, a priority or his speed is just through the roof. Let's roll here. That was a smart play by him. Wow, I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. I thought we were just going to dominate right off the bat and he was trying to roll out with a trick room or something. But this is why we rock up with the Ludicolo. Cole. He is a little bit of backup with that water. But we got to get this rain going again to get the Swift Swim up again. But we do have the Tailwind. Tailwind should work wonders with us, boosting our speed. And then once we get that rain, that Ludicolo Cole will be double. He's going to withdraw. Who's he going to go into? Who's he going to go into? The Togekiss. That's fine. That is actually fine by me. Hopefully this thing or the Wimscott isn't Focus Ash. Because if the Wimscott isn't Focus Ash, we should be able to just one-tap it up and say night-night no problem with this Hurricane. 
with this hurricane if not we can take him out with the next turn but i think we can take him out one hit if he's not rocking the focus ash look at my boy ludy colo ludy colo coming in here yeah do his little dance he's like shake 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 <laughs> Yo, let's rock out with this. Do we outspeed? Who's gonna go first? Light screen's gonna pop out of here. Mm, you little biscuit, dude. This guy's playing is smart. This guy's a little smart cookie over here. Thanks, guys. You're gonna pop out here. We're gonna set up the rain again, but this isn't gonna do too much damage. Considering we are rocking light screen, and there is no rain going on here. Why is this guy so smart? Why is this guy playing us so well? Here comes the rain. He's probably gonna rock out into a sunny day next turn. We're just gonna tank it up regardless. Let's go. Take him out. Oh, he's focus ash. He is focus ash. That's fine again. Like, that's fine by me. Focus ash does come out. Oh, we get the confusion. Hopefully, we can take him out with the confusion. Do I bank on that and just go straight for this uh, toad kiss? Hmm. We're going to let him do his thing first. And we'll go. We'll throw a hurricane on him. Do we go for a max geyser again? Or do we go for a max hailstorm? I think max geyser is the better option here. Considering it is raining. But we are going to go for that hurricane on that... Wimscott, because if the confusion does take it out, it's just we'll take him out. And then if the confusion does take him out, then a hurricane will just swap over to that token case and do damage on him. So he still has his Dynamax, doesn't he? Yeah, he still does have his Dynamax, which I think he might actually send out now with his token kiss. I can see that potentially happening. I could see that happening. I don't want it to, though. I do not want it to. Bam, bam, dip, boom, boom. La de da de do do do. Come on, you gonna go, punk? He's scared, dude. He's rattled everybody. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want the jeans. He doesn't want the jean sauce right here. <laughs> He's gonna get sauced on, boy. Let's go. Confusion does pop out here. Come on. Tell me this takes him out. Mm, this game's bogus, man. He gets a lucky tailwind off at the end. Boosting his team speed. We do have a tailwind, but our what's called our Ludicolo should outspeed here. Yes, he does with that swift swim and that tailwind. Rocket in the back. How much damage can we do here? Can we do a decent amount? There we go. Beautiful. You like to see that. You like to see that all day. Air Slash comes out onto my Ludicolo. We will eat that up. And then, what's it called? We will take out this Wimscott with this Hurricane. We are chilling here. We are chilling here. That Tokus will go down next turn. Because we will outspeed. Unless our, what's it called, does Peter out. Our Tailwind Peter's out. But I think we're chilling here. We still have our Token tomorrow. Rocking in the back end. He's rocking in the back end. Who else is this guy rocking? That's the real question. Banana. Bam, bam, dim, bam, dim, bam. Darmanitan comes out here. Okay, so Darmanitan is going to come out here. How are we gonna roll out here? How are we gonna roll out? We go for a scald on it. Do, 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 do. Let's go for a scald on the token kiss. Try to take that out. And and just go straight for a max geyser on this thing. Let's go straight for a max geyser on this Darmanitan. We, we should outspeed it. He is gonna Dynamax here. He is gonna Dynamax. He's probably rocking a weakness policy on that thing. But it's fine. It's fine. I think he's gonna go after my Ludi Cola. Try to do some damage because I don't think he's too worried about that Pelipper. Too, too much. More so the Ludicolo. I do have my Toga tomorrow in that back spot, which would be nice. He does not Dynamax. He does not Dynamax. And we are going to do some work. We're going to do some work on the Darmanitan. Take him out. Take him out. Let's go. Let's go, ladies and gents. I'm surprised he didn't Dynamax there. I don't know if he would have ate that up regardless, but we will eat this up too. And our Pelipper should be able to take out that Toga Kiss with his Scald in the rain. Yeah. What is he down to? Two Pokemon or one? He might, be, he might still have two. No, we took out the Whimsicott. He has one. He has one. It is a 3v1 situation. We should have this one in the bag, but he does have his Dynamax. That is the problem, and we are out of what's it called? Sh it's Chandelure. He's going to Dynamax his Chandelure here. But it's fine. It's fine. We're going to get a nice little water shot on him regardless. Whoever you want to go with. In the rain, too. In the rain, unless the rain ends. No, in the rain, buddy. In the rain. This, I can see him just bouncing. I can see him hitting the bounce boogie skiddle and canceling the battle. That should be the game. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he hangs in there. He is going to hang in here. Roll out with a Shadow Ball. Try to take out my Ludicolo. We still have our Toga tomorrow here. We should eat that up. We have that Assault Vest, which comes up clutch. And the Muddy Water should finish us off. Should finish us off. Well, the Light Screen might help him out. But no, it does finish him off. Let's go, guys. Rain Team is so strong. That is how you get it done. That is how you run this Rain Team. It's just so strong once you get this Rain set up and all that. And you play it right. That is how you get it done with this rain team. That Pelipper, Ludicolo, and Batter Scooter are rocking their normal movesets in rain teams, but it's just so strong. Like, why would you change it up? If it's not broke, don't fix it. Then we got that Ferrothorn and that Gardevoir rocking a Choice Scarf and a Choice Band, which is huge with that team. It kind of, like, separates it from the other rain teams. And we also have that Token tomorrow with that Air Balloon that we didn't get to show off, but we did put it in our team. It comes up clutch 
all the time but if you guys would like to use this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen go ahead and use it use it on the double ladder rank up and all that good stuff but let me know for question of the day what are your favorite gen 8 pokemon that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to show it by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.